Hi, this is Eric, and today we'll be doing a piping offset, a 3D model. And we're going to be starting from this flange here and drawing a 90 degree elbow. And then on the opposite end, we'll be drawing a 45 degree and then sliding that out. And then MetQ will figure out the intersections. So let's get started with that. So you have a virtual keyboard here. I'm just showing this so that you understand how to use the numeric keypad. Uh, we'll be loading up the MetQ piping and we'll be drawing that 90 degree elbow. We'll choose that from the menu, choose view draw, and then we'll be selecting it from this point. Let's go ahead and pan over there. Then snap to the endpoint node there and point it in the upstream direction. And then here's where I wanted to show you the numeric keyboard. So by clicking on different areas on the numeric keypad, you'll be able to see the pipe rotate different angles. The seven at a 45, the eight straight up, the nine 45 pointed to the right. In our case, we just wanted to point it to the right using the nine key. So as you can see, looking in the front view, it's pointed correctly. So now what we can do is model the opposite end with the 45. I'll be doing a little bit differently, choosing MetQ, choosing the 45 degree, clicking on the node, placing it in the upstream direction, and then using our mouse to just position this so it's straight up and down. Just make sure that your ortho or polar tracking is turned on so that it rotates in there straight. So next what we need to do is slide the 90 degree elbow. So we'll go to MetQ, we'll choose the piping tools, we'll go down to slide item by point. Let's select the pipe and the first point is going to be at the end node against the flange. And then there's a point out here called the focal point. And this is where the two angles of the pipe converge together. And then the end of pipe on the opposite side, the third point. Then we'll line it with the center line of the 45 degree. There's still a little bit of an issue with the 45 aligning with the 90. So we'll have to slide the 45 out. So again, we'll go into the slide tools. We'll select the 45 and the node and the focal point for, for our slide angle. And then the alignment point aligning to the end of the 90. And as you can see, it slides it over and aligns it properly. Let's put in some straight pieces of pipe. In order to create straight pieces, we're just clicking on the two nodes and then pressing enter. And we do this for each section. So click each node and then press enter. And it's as simple as that. And then we'll just go ahead and shade our drawing. And if you have any questions, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Daryl Cook, uh, who has provided the tools and the knowledge to create this video. And we hope you have a great day. And we'll see you in the next video.